Thank you, Janice, and um, uh, everyone else at Poets and Players for inviting me. And uh, yeah, and this is absolutely one of my favourite buildings. And in case you don't know, there are Victorian toilets that way, so do check them out. They're just brilliant. The old and wooden seats and everything. Well, the ladies are, I haven't been in the gym. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to do any. Um, I'm not going to do any golden oldies. I'm going to. Um, I, I do have a tendency to waffle, so in order to try and cut that down, what I'm going to do is just introduce a series of poems, and then uh, read them straight through uh, till we get to the end. So don't bother applauding or anything like that. Save that up until the end. I'm just like, then you can go nuts if you want. Or just leave or what have you. Still me, I don't know. Um, this series, which will be in uh, the booth that uh, will be coming out in America, but it, it's developed from um, a couple of visits uh, to Crete, and especially the last time, on um, a boat trip on the Libyan Sea, and it was a, a very glorious day, and it was a, a the, the, the sea was sent very gentle, and always at the back of my mind was the fact that the Libyan Sea and the Mediterranean in particular is actually becoming a graveyard for all the migrants that are trying to escape poverty and war and everything else. So, and, and last week, just by coincidence. It, this came very much to the headline, but that was just the sheer weight of numbers because I've been following this and it's just daily. There are people just, you know, it's terrible. Anyway, so I've, I've ex I expanded that to all kinds of different <coughs> sea peoples throughout the world and, and throughout the ages. This series actually, it, it's kind of wrapped around by. Um, um, it's, it's actually called, this bit of it is called They Who Saw the Deep, which is actually uh, a, a, just a little tweak on uh, He Who Saw the Deep, which is the Gilgamesh story. And I do draw on the Gilgamesh legend, and particularly the biblical flood, but sorry, the, the Sumerian flood, which of course um, precursed the biblical flood. And uh, it, one of the motifs that runs through it is our, our <laughs> beloved um, shipping forecast. Um, and I, I always listen to it on a Sunday afternoon because that's when I'm preparing the Sunday, the Sunday dinner, Sunday roast. So these are just motifs that are running through the series. I haven't time to read all of them, so some of the shipping areas will be absent so if i missed out your favor i do apologize but chromat is there so it doesn't matter chromaty <laughs> okay so here we go viking north of syria south of syria warning of gales scandinavians westerly cyclonic Carved snakes, malign horizons, grizzled North Sea, petulant, tormenting the skin of the longboats, tickling their underbellies to within an inch. They came for our wheat, wool, honey, women, tin, mini hammers swing, swinging from their necks, kipper ties, kiss me quick on their horns. After one league, the darkness was thick and there was no light. You could see nothing ahead and nothing behind. I negotiate a monster cauliflower, pyroclastic flow of the vegetable world. When did they grow so massive? Are they dug cheats, surreptitiously modified? Outer space going dark early catches me out. Only yesterday, midsummer polar mesopheric clouds radiated a false dawn of atmospheric doves homing in through my kitchen window. Forties, chromaty, forth, time. 
northerly or northeasterly, becoming variable, then becoming southerly or southeasterly, wintry showers. From all directions, lives held by a thread of tarred wool, matted animal hair. Isotonic ocean water is cryingly close to our internal body fluids, notably blood. Hence, diluted ocean water named marine plasma, ocean plasma, marine serum. If we do drown in the sea, we virtually drown in ourselves. This is of no comfort whatsoever. After two leagues, the darkness was thick and there was no light. You could see nothing ahead and nothing behind. What mean sprouts and monkey too? That green bead nymph. Not worth the candle, nor of sea gas. Is that a whiteout, albedo? Downward penetration of snow. Silhouette of running on empty magpie returns in a temper, putting us all on knife edge, edge. Thames, Dover, white, northerly, becoming variable, rough until later, otherwise slight. Channel rats scuttle intense depressions along La Manche, ocean plasma, TV screens, booze cruisers. Below deck bowels heave, stowaways, canned fish teeth, man meat, sardines. Specks of suspended humanity, unfathomable universe. Recipes for degrees of hurt, reduced stock of oxygen. Up on deck, freshly drizzled lemon air. Take good care of your sailing cubes and always make sure your door is safely pulled to. These words were writ 4,000 years ago. Too late for the herald of free enterprise, most died on seeing in the, in the dark of hypothermia. Four soft-boiled minutes from harbour. After four leagues, the darkness was thick and there was no light. You could see nothing ahead and nothing behind. The faraway comes near sea salt, cracked pepper, organic gravy granules. Displaced polyvortex we hear, kindled in fractious love. Snowy owl steering its mono gaze with a hint of uncharacteristic panic. Biscay, Trafalgar, Fitzroy. Cyclonic, occasionally severe nine, rough or very rough. Who sells here? Fisher folk. Finister, a word haunting the end of the earth of our yesterday radio ears, praying to the wild bay of the departed. What? What the deuce is this bunch of clowns? Clinker constructs and papal banners. Gilded figurehead, bawling infant face, blowing poisonous bubbles out an ivory trumpet spout. It's to Ruth, maraudering Normans, coming for us butter stinkers, crouched in ditches, umbles pounding louder than a force eleven, awaiting our genocide, praying for a storm surge to save our dark Nile soul sob bacon. The surge arrived in 1099, not 1066. The last two dead digits upended as if we painted devil in sand. We were all long gone by then, dead or interbred. Women took brunt at latter. After six leaves, the darkness was thick and there was no light. You could see nothing ahead and nothing behind. Fine words, but in no fish. 
Heaven cuts a slash of wings across the dusk, roomy eyed, bedraggled, a sorry sight set upon them proper upset. Upset. And I, on Boxing Day, I saw two crows dragging a heron across a, a pond, obviously alighted in the wrong tree. It's a very disturbing sight. Dramatic. Hebrides, Bailey, Fair Isles. Northwest gale eight to storm ten, high or very high, poor, occasionally very poor. Decluttering the radar of echoes, dissonance. After peace came boat upon boatload of Vietnamese bobbing across our black and white tea time screens. For weeks, we and the world watched them drift without permission fees or film rights or running water. Pirates mustered, moved in, murdered, stealing life, sex, keepsakes, bundles full of wishbones. After nine leagues, the darkness was thick and there was no light. You could see nothing ahead and nothing behind. Cloud cedars, feeder clouds. Lenticulars, curly cages, all the rage, but fat's back on the menu. Monster weather crash, barges, premature glee. Empty wheelie bins never stood a chance. Venetian blinds jumped a skin of metal riff. Starling, spared not the dictator. Misread the situation totally. Jarda, I felt that deflection on streaming glass, a ghastly omni shambles, winging a prayer and a hiding to nothing. Nothing. This is the last one. Pharaohs, southeast Iceland. Westerly, three or four. Backing northerly six to gale eight. Very rough or high. Snow showers. Occasion good, occasionally poor. Colossal displacement of cloud clusters. The fearful and pursuit set sail on death ships. Nightly ebb and flow of nascent diasporas listing to the wake of Tyre, the Triton from Iceland, patrolling this pig of a sea. It's very low key, this World War III. Not declared, just accumulated conflict. Pathological structural remodeling of hearts traverse the Mara Nostrum from Syria, Afghanistan, Libya, Bangladesh, Nigeria, Mali, Somali, Eritrea. Many arrive in new shoes. If they arrive, survive abandonment, junk freights, animal folds, scuttlings, two-faced, faceless crews, masked amputations, dehydration, despawns, exposure, hungry waves, requiem sharks. After ten leagues, the darkness was thick and there was no light. You could see nothing ahead and nothing behind. Seabed and sunken cities tenderly catch the daily fall of new inhabitants. Lampedusa awaits its loggerhead turtles. Deep, meandering jet stream, you seem inconsolable as steam rises from the almost ready Sunday lunch. Old Saharan air brings a Spanish plume to North Atlantic maritime seas, brings a thunder, severe atmospheric underbellies. Dove makes a branchless comeback. Come back. Thank you.